El Dorado County now where despite no reports of violence so far, tensions are rising, especially in the normally sleepy town of Placerville. Shops are boarded up, windows boarded up, and people are patrolling the streets throughout the day. Yes, they are. CBS 13th Anna Giles is live in Placerville with what's behind this preemptive strike, Anna. Hey guys, we've seen nothing but peaceful protests out here, but police are telling us that false information is running rampant on social media, and it's leading some people to do this, board up their entire shop. Placerville gives peaceful protests a voice. Dozens surround the courthouse chanting for hours. But tensions run high just under the surface. A couple of people tried to face off with the front line. Just yards away, shop owners say they live in fear of looters. Some businesses are boarded up. We heard that um, there was going to be some trouble up here coming up this way. Police say rumors are circulating about threats that are not credible. Where are you hearing this from? Is it online? This is... What is the. <laughs> I, I guess online, but the word gets around in a small town like this, you know. Kirk Smith owns property on Main Street, but is not boarding up his windows. He's seen the same social media posts as others. I couldn't find any substance to show that it's a real threat. Placerville police are increasing patrols and are staying focused on keeping the peace through dialogue. It's sad that our community feels the fear that they do. Today, police arrested this man who made violent threats against protesters online. Commander Kim Nida says the department will not stand for this. People really feel that once they are on social media, that they can just say whatever they want. They've lost that, that uh, moral temperature guide guide that would stop them from talking. It's putting some people on edge. Images of looting in Sacramento add fuel to the fire. Shop owner Lorenzo Smith is describing Placerville as the old west right now. There's like hundreds of locals down here every night just protecting. And tonight, the El Dorado County Sheriff's Office is also saying they have had no reports of looting, but they're trying to take a proactive stance. For the last few nights, they have closed off the Silva Valley Parkway and the off-ramp there in El Dorado Hills, but that is just a precaution.